guys, it's Mara. Um, in today's video, I want to talk to you about getting your passport. So, if you're from Missouri or if you're from um, a couple of other states, actually there's probably quite a few, um, and you have to be compliant with the Real ID Act. So, what that is is basically saying your state does not have um, tough enough laws put in place to get your driver's license or to prove you are who you are um, and so you need to have a passport or another more higher up um, security form of identification um, than just a driver's license like a passport um, so Missouri where I live is one of those states so Marin and I um, applied for our passports now don't get me started <laughs> it was uh, it was a time so I have watched some other videos of people talking about their passports and how it didn't work out and their pictures were bad and just so how it all started Marin and I if you don't know I'll put in some of the videos uh, we are gonna go on our honeymoon we're going to Costa Rica so because we're traveling internationally obviously we need a passport um, but even if Missouri doesn't get the approval of their basically postponement to um, um, to have more time to get their crap together for the Real ID Act, um, then everyone will need a passport even to fly domestically. Um, I think it's like next month, which is pretty crazy. Like we asked to get, you know, postponed, have more time. We asked for like two years. It was really kind of confusing when I tried to look up um, all the stuff behind it. But anyway, I don't want to get caught up in all that. Um, so we had to apply for a passport because we we're going to go to Costa Rica. Um, so this is Marion's passport. He already got his. I have not yet got mine, um, but I'll get to why. But so we decided to, we had to go get our pictures done. So I called the courthouse, which that's where we, the county courthouse is where we got our passports done with. You can also do them at your post office um, or like directly at the like passport hub of your state or the, I guess it's, it's probably the capital. Um, so we didn't do that though. We got ours done at the county courthouse. Um, but I had called before and I said, hey, where do you guys um, think we should get our pictures done at? Because I knew like CVS had it, Walgreens, and Walmart. And they said, well, you can get them done at Walgreens or Walmart. Um, we recommend Walgreens, um, but Walmarts are okay. And uh, with that, I should have realized that she meant, um, and Walmart sucks. So, um, I did not go to Walgreens. I know when I got my passport over 10 years ago, that's why I had to get another one. It's been 10 years. Um, I got mine done at Walgreens. But we decided to go to Walmart because I'm cheap and Walmarts were, I could get two for the price of one basically. So we went there and a lady, she worked the, you know, the photo section. So you'd think she knew what she was doing. She was really nice, whatever. But she went and got the camera. They pulled down a little white screen. Um, you stand in front of it. And she took, I think she did mine first. Yeah, she did mine first. And she had the camera so close to my face. She's like, oh, we have to get really zoomed in and really close to your face. So her camera was like right here on my face. And I'm like, like, this is really awkward. The picture turned out awful. When we were in the checkout line, after we got our picture, she said, oh, it'll be like 15, 20 minutes. So we went, shopped a little bit in Walmart, came back, got our pictures. We went to go check out and I got Marin's out and his looked kind of bad. Uh, but then I looked at mine and I was like, oh my God, like this is awful, you know? And then when, so then we went over to the courthouse and um, we had to get like, you know, not padded down, but you have to go through medical, de <laughs> medical, metal detectors um, because it is court system and all that. And make sure that you don't have a gun or whatever. So we went into the little area, little side area, started filling out all the paperwork and stuff. And they're like, oh, do you have your pictures? And I'm like, yeah. So I hand them and she's like, oh. And I'm like, yeah, they're bad, you know? And she's like, oh, basically she knew I went to Walmart. Uh, but she said with Marion's, one of his photos may work. Um, but the other one, there's in, in mine, they cut the top of my head off. Like as part of the rules, there's supposed to be a certain amount of space above your head. Your head has to cover like a certain area 
um, of the photos. It has to show like your hair and like there's all these different kind of rules. So make sure you read up on it before you go anywhere and probably just don't go to Walmart. Um, Walgreens apparently does a pretty good job, but I have seen where somebody messed up theirs at Walgreens. So, um, anyway, she told us to go ahead and we would try Marion's, but mine definitely wasn't going to work, um, so that I could bring mine back, you know, the next day or whatever, which ended up being like four days later because the next day was a holiday, then it was the weekend, then I worked on Monday, then I couldn't come till Tuesday. Um, so that's why we got Marion's before mine did. Uh, we got mine. Um, haven't got mine yet. Hopefully it should be here tomorrow or maybe Monday. I'm supposed to get it by here today. Um, but it left the distribution center in Arkansas and then went up to Kansas City. So I'm not really sure why it did that. Just skipped over me completely. Um, but yeah, so I'm waiting on that. They told me 8 p.m. tonight and obviously that did not happen. But anyway, so I went back. We went back actually that night to Walmart um, cause we were trying to catch the lady, you know, so they could give us another one. Cause she said, oh, they should do it for free, um, redos. So just to get a mare and another one in case something happened and they need another photo. So you'd have it and then to redo both of mine cause you get two prints. Um, so we went back and the lady wasn't there. It was another younger guy, another department. And he's like, I don't know how she messed up. Like they zoom in on your face and like, you know the software in the computer tells him what to do and like how to have it set up so he's like i don't know how she messed it up so he took it from a normal like you know maybe even a pretty far distance and i was like she was right in my face he's like i don't know why she did that <laughs> so it was really kind of funny um but anyway so we ended up getting those photos i mean my face didn't <laughs> i wasn't having a great makeup day or face a day whatever anyway so those photos didn't look that great either but I was like as long as they work I don't really care what my passport picture looks like um so anyway then um I went back the next Tuesday well the girl who was kind of helping the main lady do a Marin and I's the first day um it was just her that day she didn't know anything she didn't <laughs> she was definitely the backup person she didn't know what she was doing um because she was trying to make me send in my birth certificate and I said well why I didn't think I had to send it in because I've already had my passport you know I'm just like doing a renewal it expired like in April and so she was asking some other lady and she's like oh no you don't have to send that in and I was like okay that's what I thought you know she like agreed with me and then the other lady was like oh you have to pay the full fee not just the renewal because you were under age and I said oh it's if you're 17 or older and I was 17 and so she was like, oh, okay. Like that lady didn't know what she was talking about either. And I was like, man, it was like, you really got to, you know, be your own advocate, which I say that about a lot of things, but you really want to read up and know what you're doing because the people may not know what you're doing. You might not ever get your passport or they might charge you the full price, whatever. So I think overall it was what, 120 or maybe, or no, it's 110. And there's like an extra processing fee if it is not a renewal and it's a totally new one, which Marion had to pay that one. Um, and he had to like swear and everything, that's him and all that crap. Um, but anyway, so I think mine was just like 110. Um, but, you know, just read up on it. There's plenty of stuff out there on the internet um, about what your state requires what kind of paperwork you have to have um because mine was a name change i also had to send in our marriage certificate um which they'll send that back to you in the mail they'll send it in like each document you have they'll send it to you in separate envelopes um so if somebody like steals your mail they don't steal your passport and your birth certificate and your social security card because then they just wipe you all out of all your identifiers um but still waiting on mine hopefully i'll get it soon um because like i said we are going to costa rica and i will need it um but it only took Marin about three i think about three weeks to get his and mine will about be three or four weeks you know about a month um but the sooner we get to that real id act the more um longer it's going to take probably because everybody's like oh crap like missouri's not going to get approved or whatever state you're in you know maybe they haven't complied yet um and that's going to suck because everybody's going to be like, oh, I have to get here. You know, I have to get a flight. Um, they won't let you. I have seen some people say if you have like a piece of mail and your driver's license and your social security card and your birth certificate, like if you have like, it was like five things, you know, then maybe they will let you have that. Use that instead of um, a passport. But, you know, you might want to get that smoothed out ahead of time just in case. 
um, that you um, can't get your passport in time and you have to travel somewhere domestically. Internationally, I'd say you're probably just screwed, but whatever. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Um, this is kind of new to me, especially with all the whole passport thing. I did get one, um, when, like I said, when I was 17, they last 10 years. Um, you can also get passport cards, which I think are just for like domestic travel and not like the book. This is like the whole book has all the pages you can get stamped. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but there is a card that's a little bit cheaper. There's a passport book and, um, maybe there's a few other things. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you want, check out some of my other travel videos. And if it's after I'm going to Costa Rica, hopefully I'll have some cool Costa Rican videos to put in here. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.